Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today uh, we're going to talk about a rumor. This is episode 107 and I don't really like talking about rumors. And especially after I tracked where this came from, I, I want to talk about it even less. But uh, in this video, instead of just talking about the rumor, I'm going to say what the rumor is and talk a little bit about it according to this website called manabite.com. This is where the source of this rumor came from. Uh, it's a website by a guy named Jeremy Conrad and, uh, and he's posting on his blog here uh, a rumor he heard about the Venom movie. And so we'll talk a little bit about this and then I'm going to basically explain to you why I don't believe this at all uh, or why we shouldn't even consider this is any it's a it's a, a pointless story to even cover and I'll explain why. And this is ultimately why I don't like to do rumors. So we're going to shred this apart here. So first, let's talk about the rumor itself. Uh, Jeremy posits, he says, the rumor is uh, don't expect to see much Venom in the Venom movie. Uh, there's a plot synopsis being spread around the internet that basically, I'm going to paraphrase here, that basically says that there's Venom's only in the, like, the last 20 minutes of the movie or last 10 minutes of the movie or something like that. And um, and then he says that you're, the only parts of Venom you're going to see is you're going to see Eddie Brock. He's going to have, uh, you know, uh, veins in his arms and in his neck in a couple scenes. You're going to see uh, tendrils coming out of him at points, additional arms, and you're going to see a shield during a, a car chase sequence. He's going to make a shield out of the symbiote. Uh, and then uh, he also goes on to say that there's going to be three symbiotes in this movie. The one that Venom has, or Eddie Brock has, the one the villain ultimately is going to bond with at the end of the movie. So I'm guessing Riz Ahmed maybe, uh, because they say a scientist or someone says a scientist. That, again, you got to be careful where people add stuff because movie... Uh, what is it? It's like movie blog or movie movie web. Movieweb.com, I'll put a link to them down below. They add words in to say like, oh, a scientist at the end uses the, the Venom costume. It's like, okay, well, uh, Jeremy's website doesn't say scientist, so where do you get that from? It says one where the villain uses it. Uh, and then it says there's a third symbiote uh, that kills the person that it first bonds with. So maybe that's carnage. Maybe it's a suit that bonds with somebody, destroys them immediately, and then they are like, all right, let's not touch that one. It's an unstable uh, symbiote for some reason, and we're going to put it away. And maybe that's the thing that gets leaked or salvaged at the end to get brought to carnage or something. Uh, again, these are all just the rumors according to this plot synopsis. Now let's talk about what is a plot synopsis, and let's start leading into why I hold that this has no merit to me and why this rumor is just that. It's just something a guy put on his blog and shouldn't be paid attention to even slightly. Uh, a, a plot synopsis is what I read to you guys on that episode where we read the screenplay to my Spider-Man 4 movie that I pitched with my two friends that we wrote together and we pitched to Sony uh, for Sam Raimi to direct that had Craven and the Lizard in it and the Chameleon and, uh, and setting up the Sinister Six and all that. That what I you know uh, our screenplay for that was about uh, about 98 or 100 pages roughly in there. So a typical screenplay is between 90 and 100 pages. You try to get as close to 90 as you can, uh, and then you know things will be added, things will flesh out when you're filming it, think, you know stuff like that. Uh, time will be added to the to overall story, but you basically want a minute for each page. So each page represents one minute in real time uh, for a screenplay. That's basically the rule that you want to try to follow. Uh, but a synopsis and a breakdown, which are typically written even before the screenplay is written. So it's early ideas, early things, before you even know the budget of the movie or anything. Um, you write a, a synopsis and a breakdown that's you know three to 10 pages long. And it'll break down the characters, tell you a little bit about them, like their, what race they are, character personality type, you know, that kind of thing, uh, age, stuff like that. So casting people can start going out there and figuring out who should play an audition for your movie and for the certain parts. Uh, but a breakdown, like I said, is like a three to 10 page version of the 100 page script that you wrote. So it has no details in it. Uh, anything you put in there probably won't even make it to the final screenplay. Uh, and a lot of things get changed all the time. So one of the things he says is, oh, well, based on this plot synopsis, Everything we've seen in the teaser matches almost perfectly with what we saw or what, what this plot synopsis says. And that's the first big red flag there. Rarely will you have a plot synopsis that is so detailed that a teaser trailer that comes out, you know, two years later or a year and a half later will be identical to it and show identical scenes because chances are, Paul, uh, you know, Ruben Fleischer added his own stuff to this movie. Once, uh, you know, uh, Tom Hardy got involved, the budget probably went up for this movie. And a lot of people out there are saying, oh, yeah, but there's some truth to this. It could still be where Venom's only in the last 20 minutes. Here's why I doubt even that's true. Because the new Spawn movie that's coming out through Bloomhouse, 
That is a 92 or three page script. Uh, there's uh, it's mostly about Twitch looking for Spawn, and the last like 20, 15, 20 minutes of the movie is Spawn, and really you get glimpses of him throughout the movie. But the last, it, the movie's not even about him. Ultimately, it's about uh, it's about Twitch on this uh, you know serial killer case or whatever that turns out to be tied to the devil and demons show up and Spawn shows up to you know wipe out the demons. It is that's literally that the the kind of the outline for that movie, the synopsis for that movie, and that movie only has a ten million dollar budget. So you're telling me that a movie that has clearly more than Resi Resident Evil, uh, let's talk about that too. That plot synopsis uh, back when that came out written by Paul Anderson, had a lot more Alice in Wonderland references to it. Most of the characters were named after Alice in Wonderland characters. He was very on the nose with his references. Very wasn't very subtle at all. Uh, they didn't know they were going to shoot the movie in Germany. They didn't know the budget of the movie was going to be $40 million or whatever, $45 million, when they, you know, when he was writing the synopsis. He was writing the synopsis to try to get Sony interested in why he should be the guy to make the movie. He was selling himself and the property and why him and the property should go well, or, you know, could go well together. And ultimately, Sony bought into it. Uh, and then, so the, his screenplay or his synopsis for that movie had, didn't even have a subway train, which was in most of the movie. Uh, his version had the uh, a vertical, like semi-vertical elevator that was going up from Resident Evil Zero. And it also, I believe, had the, the liquor turning into a tyrant in the original synopsis. So there's a lot of things that didn't make it into his screenplay, and he was the same guy that wrote the synopsis and then went and wrote the screenplay. Uh, and he changed a bunch of stuff. And then when they filmed it, they changed even more stuff. While they were filming it, they took out even more Alice in Wonderland references, and they pretty much just kept Alice and the Red Queen, and that was pretty much it. Um, so things change. Uh, and so to say, oh, a synopsis and a teaser trailer are almost identical right there throws so many red flags, because unless this really was like a $5 million indie movie, then they wouldn't be identical. They wouldn't be that close to each other. Um, yes, Venom, the, the idea of Venom having you know, uh, tendrils and additional arms and a shield. All those are moments from the comic book. So it would make sense that someone would write them in a plot synopsis. So there's a chance that there really is a plot synopsis out there. But what I mean is to hold it to this much, uh, to, to put this much weight on it and to actually be worried that the final movie is actually only going to have like 20 minutes of venom to me seems ridiculous because if a $10 million spawn movie is doing that, I'm pretty sure like a 60 to $80 million Venom movie is not going to do that. They have the money. They have four visual effects companies working on this movie. And there were even parts of the movie when they were filming it in Atlanta where they had a company making costume, like a, a, a costume for Tom Hardy to wear in the movie uh, as a transition scene. So it's like, all right, he has like black on him. Uh, but you still see Eddie Brock parts, and then they can add digitally tendrils and things like that. They were even working on stuff like that for the movie. Ultimately, they end up scrapping it and decided to go with more CG, uh, from what I was told, and that there's not going to be like him wearing a suit, even for transitional scenes. So it is mostly going to be uh, CGI. But I would imagine, if if still, let's say any of this is true, um, that uh, that they probably already changed it and added more Venom because already people were upset about the first trailer. And I'm sure Sony's like, look, it, you know, we need more Venom in our movie. You got Avi Arad and Matt Tolmack who are making this movie. They've been really trying to push a Venom movie for years. I doubt they would finally sign off on a Venom movie that only has 15 minutes of Venom in them. I'm sure that was pitched that way, but once Tom Hardy got on board, Ruben Fleischer, Michelle uh, Williams, once they saw the cast, Riz Ahmed, the people they were you know, growing with and the way the movie was growing, I'm sure Sony threw a few more millions of dollars at them, another like 10, 20, 30 million dollars at them. But I'm thinking this movie, we don't know the budget yet, but it's probably somewhere between 50 and 100 million, and that's Five, if, even if it was only a $50 million budget, that's five times the amount the Spawn movie is going to have. So why would they still do the same thing the Spawn movie is doing with only a few minutes? And I know where probably some of this started. I feel like someone wrote this breakdown and put it on the internet after watching the teaser trailer and after watching people's theory videos uh, because it's too clean and it matches up too neatly with a lot of theories out there. And this movie's been playing it way too close to the vest. None of it's officially leaked. And so to have all these things out there that are similar to theories that are out there also sends another red flag. So I am not putting any merit into this. Uh, I'm not saying anything that Jeremy, you know, did anything wrong or anything like that. He's He has a blog and he wants to talk about things that he is interested in. He heard this and probably thought it would be interesting to talk about. But for me, someone who's been writing online for 20 years, he should have broke this down the way I'm breaking it down. 
hey, there's a plot synopsis out there, but here's why a plot synopsis is not a big thing to uh, worry about and why you shouldn't uh, put all your eggs in that basket and thinking it's true. Uh, he doesn't say anything like that in here. He just says, hey, this is a rumor. And then he goes on and tells you all the things that he learned from this rumor. And then at the end reiterates, hey, it's just a rumor. And it's like, okay, but explain to people, explain to people who are checking out your site why a plot synopsis isn't something they should, you know, uh, you know, think is going to be the final product. Uh, put stuff like that in there. Educate people. Use your blog as a chance to educate people. That's what I try to do on here. And, you know, there are people out there, no matter what, they're going to hate this movie. And there's going to be people out there who, no matter what, want this movie to be good. I would like this movie to be good. If it turns out this is the case, if it's just 10 minutes of Venom at the end, I'll be surprised for sure. Uh, but I'll also, if it's a good movie, I'll like it. If, but if there's only 10 minutes of Venom, I don't know how it'll be a good Venom movie. Uh, so, you know, I will be honest with my review when the movie comes out. Just because I'm making a Venom show does not mean if I don't like it, I'm not going to say I don't like it. I will be very honest with you guys about what I feel of the movie. But when I hear a rumor like this, I almost don't even want to make videos on it. But because you guys wanted me to, I figured, you know what? This is a good chance for me to explain plot synopses, we, you know, things like, like this, the way that uh, he's, th these details are matching up with the teaser trailer and why I think that's kind of fishy. Uh, it's not unrealistic uh, completely to that, for that to not happen, but the odds are very slim. A lot changes from a plot synopsis to the end of a movie. You make a movie, you make it three times. You write it, you direct it, you edit it. A movie is made three times, uh, and uh, and usually in the writing process, you do a lot of rewrites, you do a lot of things, new writers come on board, they change things, they add stuff around, and then they find out what the budget of the movie is, they add more Venom scenes. Trust me, I wouldn't be too worried about this if you are worried about it. If you're out there and this just fuels your hate for this movie and you still want to hate this movie, that's fine. It's it's <laughs> like I don't get mad about stuff like that. If people want to really just hate on this movie just because, it's fine. I've done that in the past before. I don't think it's fair. I've learned to not do that so much anymore. Uh, but I know people out there still do it. It's fine. It doesn't bother me any. I'm still going to go see this movie. I still want to hope that it's going to be good. Uh, but things like this do not derail me. And I didn't even really... Hold, this holds no water to me. I just don't believe any of this. And it just seems like someone out there was like, hey, I heard something interesting and I'm going to put up my blog. And then all these websites are picking it up and trying to, even though they're saying it's also rumored, they're pitching it in a way to like, can you believe this? What do you think if this really happens? And it's like, it's it's most likely not going to happen. Uh, and I just listed a bunch of reasons why. Spawn movie's doing it. Budget on this movie is bigger than that. Uh, rewrites. It's like there's plenty of reasons why you shouldn't go off a plot synopsis uh, and why you shouldn't write a blog or an article about a rumored plot synopsis even more so. So this even holds less weight than an actual plot synopsis. It's a rumor of one uh, going around out there on the internet. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to hold it. This holds no merit to me. I don't care about this. I just made this video because you guys wanted me to talk about it. So I thought it was a good opportunity for me to dissect a rumor and show you guys why um, I don't think there's any truth to it at all. Uh, but again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what yours is down below. I appreciate you guys watching my show. As always, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the future. Peace.